My name is Damian Dombrowski. I come from Poland. I'm a PhD student at BGS Math and I work in uh, geometric measure theory. What is geometric measure theory? Um, it's a study of mathematical objects called measures. What are measures? Um, it's easier to give examples. So an example of a measure is a counting measure, which just tells you how many points you have. Another example of measure is length, which tells you how long a curve, a line, whatever is. Another example, surface measure. So it tells you an area of square or a circle or whatever. So in principle, measures are supposed to tell us how big sets are in some specific way. And I gave you a very easy example, very simple example, examples of measures, um, but they can be very complicated. And the aim of geometric measure theory is to study their geometric properties. My job consists of several different things. But I would say that the key component is solving problems. So it's all about finding interesting problems to play around with, to solve. And when I say play around and when I call them riddles, that's because this is how we usually see them. This is fun for us, interestingly. Um, so once you sit down and think about it long and hard and if you're a bit lucky um, you manage to solve it then of course you also have to write it all down and because otherwise it's it's all pointless if it's just for you to know you have to tell other mathematicians and in a broader sense the society about what you managed to come up with Explaining how my field is useful can be a tricky question because um, you have the field of mathematics, like applied mathematics, which are useful in a very obvious sense. For example, um, they, are, they are trying to forecast the weather or they are modeling financial markets and this sort of things. Um, and, you know, everyone will say, okay, this is useful. Uh, but then all this applied stuff wouldn't exist without the more strange and obscure kinds of mathematics like algebra or, or my field, geometric measure theory. So concentrating on, on my case, geometric measure theory is used in partial differential equations. And then partial differential equations are used by physicists and they are used by applied mathematicians to solve real world, real world problems. So in that sense, in such indirect way, yes, what I do is useful. One of my hobbies uh, is playing card games. So one of them is called Double. Uh, the cool thing about it is that it has a mathematical edge to it. It consists of 55 cards and each of them has 8 symbols on it. 8 out of 50. And the, the miraculous thing about it is that every two cards have exactly one symbol in common. And then the game consists of finding the common symbol out of the, the two uh, that are given as fast as possible. So nice thing about this kind of card games is that you can take them with you very easily. So I usually take them to conferences and then in the evening you can, after the lectures and all the serious stuff, you can play it with other uh, people and get to know them better this way. Which is also great from the, from the professional point of view because uh, it's nicer and easier to collaborate with someone that you like than with a stranger.